Hey everybody, my name is Reed Fisher. I'm a marathon runner for Adidas and Tim Manuit. I'm building up for the Bank of America Chicago Marathon on October 10th, and these are the tools that I'm using to get me through the build. We're gonna talk about each one and how I use it and just kind of what it does to keep me healthy and keep me feeling good throughout the build up. Go boy! We go guys! Here we go. I'll start with my training shoes. So these are the Adidas Solar Glides. These are the shoes that get me through, you know, 60 to 80 percent of my weekly mileage. These are the shoes that I rely on to keep me healthy. So the Solar Glide is a great neutral trainer option. It's got Adidas's boost foam in the heel and throughout the forefoot. Really nice squishy shoe that I find has worked really well for me as an athlete. Um, Adidas has a stability version of this shoe and plenty of other options. So we've just recorded a shoe video as well. We'll put that somewhere in here or link it down below for you to watch plenty of plenty of options for any sort of runner in the adidas lineup so again if you have any questions about the shoes that might be right for you or what i use besides the solar glide in my training feel free to let me know uh, but these are the, the the trainers that get me through the bulk of my training so the adios pro is the shoe that i'll do my marathon race in and my tune-up race this weekend at us 10 mile championships this is a Adidas is super shoe, their racing shoe, so it's a carbon plated, super foam, high stock height racing shoe that a lot of us have come to know and love over the past few years. Just every time I put it on, I feel instantly better and poppier. That foam really does a great job of just making you feel fresh. Even when you're, you know, 110 miles into a week, I can put this on and still feel good and ready to go and run some hard miles. These are what I'll be racing in in Chicago on October 10th. Um, definitely a shoe that I love to put on every time I get the chance to, so it's always nice to have a shoe that you can look forward to lacing up on race day as well as in training. So that's the Audios Pro. Yeah, so this is actually Whoop 3.0. They just actually announced Whoop 4.0, so you can go get the new strap from Whoop. It's a little bit smaller, has a few other features. You know, it'll have things like alarms that'll wake you up once you've hit your sleep needs and things like that, and it's just more efficient, more powerful, more customizable, and just overall, you know, a nice next step forward from the current hoop strap. So, you know, it's something that you can use our, our team's code. It's just tin man a week, and that'll get you 10% off of getting started up with Whoop. If it's something you're interested, we'll drop links down below in the bio and feel free to comment below or message me on Instagram if you have any questions about how I use Whoop or whether or not Whoop's something that could fit into your training well. We'll move into kind of the, some of the fueling stuff that I use. Um, so this is the marathon fuel that I'll be using on race day. It's, this is Scratch's Super Fuel Sport Mix. Um, Scratch is not a sponsor of mine. I don't have any sort of fueling sponsor. Um, I've tried Morton Gel, Goo, Scratch, a bunch of things in the past, and that's what I recommend you know, all my Hammer and Axe coaching clients that I work with to do, and uh, just anybody in general. Everybody has very different stomachs and we respond differently to different flavors and different textures and things like that. So I don't think it's smart to just say, oh, I'm gonna try one thing and if it works okay, then that'll probably be good enough for me. So I've tried a bunch of products. Scratch is the one that seems to sit the best for me. It's the most palatable. You know, it's not quite as syrupy as something like Morton, but it's also a drink, which is great for me. I handle gels not super well. They oftentimes just kind of give me stomach cramps and things like that, so it's better to avoid gels for me. So the drink works really well. Personally, I use these condiment bottles that I just order off Amazon. I know a lot of the, the pro athletes like these. The squirt bottle works a little bit better than you know something like a traditional sport water bottle where you've got to tip all the way up to squirt out. This one you can kind of just stick it in the side of your mouth and squeeze it in. Super cheap, super efficient. They don't leak like crazy, so if you're gonna be carrying them with you, that's a good option for you. I love those bottles. I've used them in every marathon buildup I've done, and they're just good go-tos for me. Not flashy, but it doesn't need to be. Um, then, so that's kind of during workout fuel, post-workout fuel, uh, we'll move over here. So just any sort of protein powder is gonna be great for you after you know putting out a hard effort, especially on those marathon focused days where you're out on your feet for a long time. The last thing I know I find I wanna do is get home and cook a big breakfast, which is what your body needs. So kind of jump starting that process with a protein shake. Get some of those quick calories in, replaces some of those carbs and proteins that you've just burned through during the workout and then kind of buy you some times that, you know, it's not like you have to immediately hop in the car, drive home and start cooking. You know, obviously you still want to be prompt about getting in your post-workout nutrition, but this is something that just replenishes what I've lost. Good vitamins, good protein, good carbs right off the bat to kind of 
alleviate some of the stress and give my body that quick jump start to recovery. Don't forget your protein, kids. And then I also usually have a bar after my workout, same thing, you know, I think after a 22 mile run, the last thing I wanna do is just come home and immediately launch into cooking breakfast, so supplementing the bar and the drink, you know, it's probably about 500 calories, so a small meal, a good snack equivalent. So this is just a perfect bar. Most grocery stores carry them. I really enjoy these. They kind of taste like healthier cookie dough, um, but plenty of good stuff in here. Our team's worked with the nutrition and the nutritionist in the past. Um, she recommends these, so they taste good and they've been approved, so I kind of just stick with them. I'll usually have like a bite or two of this before my workout, in addition to maybe a few sips of this, just to kind of give my body something as I'm waking up, you know, hey, we're awake, we're, we're eating, we've got some calories in us that we can burn right off the bat rather than immediately going to the fat stores. So the bar and the shake and the fuel is kind of what I'm using pre and post workout. Also got some Ben and Jerry's here. If you're marathon training, you gotta have this on hand. It's really easy to just let yourself be like, no, okay, like I'm, I'm training hard, I don't need it. Like I wanna be super disciplined and not give myself any sort of reprieve. I've found that having just a little thing like that to look forward to at the end of my day. You know, a lot of people are coffee drinkers in the morning. I'm an ice cream guy at night. It's that sort of like ritual of like, all right, cool, dinner's over. You know, it's a good way for me to kind of transition out to dinner, have a little bit of a, a sweet tooth craving. So ticking that box and then try and have it like an hour and a half to two hours before bed just so that my body can process the sugar and I'm not laying awake staying at the ceiling when I should be falling asleep. When you're running this much, like you gotta, gotta get your calories where you can get them and, and they're cheap and easy. So ice cream is a nice way to, to really jack up the, the fat and calorie content at the end of the day, which is maybe not the best thing for me at times, but when it's needed, it's needed. So Ben & Jerry's is definitely in the rotation. Another recovery thing, just any sort of foam roller. Uh, this is a Hypervolt, so this is just a percussion massage gun. There's a million out there. This is the one that we use for the team. When you're doing marathon training and high volume and the workouts are long, it's you know really easy to just feel super tight and super fatigued and really stiff. Um, and doing stuff like that just helps keep that tissue warm and give it some length so that it can recover as quickly as possible rather than just locking up and then you feel like crap on your next day's run. Uh, and then yeah, the last thing, yeah, I'm in, I'm in Colorado, sunny Colorado, so having a good pair of sunglasses and a running hat is really important um, just to kind of keep your eyes protected and just kind of let your body focus on running rather than squinting and you know just contracting your facial muscles the whole time. So these are just some Adidas shades that they sent me. These are actually 3D printed, which is kind of fun. They're super lightweight, you can kind of see through them. I've joked that they look like Spider-Man's Venom suit, so if you want to look like Spidey, you can pick up a pair of these, but any pair of running sunglasses. Um, if you're a marathoner, I'm sure you've already discovered that when you're out on the roads for two plus hours, if it's a bright sunny day, by the end of it, you're just like wanting to nap because your eyes are so fatigued, so still nap for sure, but the sunglasses might uh, help alleviate some of that. This is the stuff that I use. Um, if you have any questions about any of it, let me know in the comments or find me on Instagram at readfish and send me any questions you have. Um, yeah, good luck in, in your future races to come and I'll be cheering for you.